in this section let me show you a main restriction or security issue you will have to face while developing real world ajax applications so to illustrate this i'm using an example we have already discussed in a previous lecture if you remember we have seen how to process the json data returned from the server so this was the file we have used http localhost ajax slash employees dot json which returns pure json data and it was processed like this so this is the page i have just renamed it like ajax cross dot html and when i refresh okay i'm seeing this one let me remove this save let me refresh see we are seeing the name and department of three different employees so it was accessing localhost slash ajax slash employees dot json file where there were a number of employees and we filtered only the details of female employees like this now it is working fine right we are getting the output suppose i upload this employees dot json file in an actual server here both this page that is the html page and also this json file both reside in the same local server folder that is in the ajax folder now suppose i access this employees dot json from a different server here i have uploaded the same page that is employees dot json in a real server which is actually a free server and it is scripters dot freetsy dot com slash employees dot json so this time let me try to copy this and here instead of providing this employees dot json which is in the local server let me put this address both are having the same file okay so it is http slash cryptos dot freetsy dot com slash employees dot json which is this file now let me try to refresh this page see we are not getting any output why it is because of same origin policy so what is same origin policy as per same origin policy scripts running in a browser are allowed to make request to only pages on the same domain that is the request must have the same protocol host name and also same port number so suppose i try to make request from http slash abc dot com to http slash xyz dot com this will not be allowed because of same origin policy similarly if i try to make request from this http slash abc dot com to https slash abc dot com here also it will not be allowed because it is using a different protocol that is here it is https and here it is http and again if i try to make request to http slash www dot abc dot com still it will not be allowed because this will be considered as a different domain here we have www and here it is just http slash abc dot com and also if the port number is different in that case as well the request will not be allowed to make so abc dot com if i use at at in that case as well request will not be allowed to be made so this is known as same origin policy where scripts running in a browser will be allowed to make request to pages only on the same domain means the request must have the same protocol host name and also port number so this is only applicable to web pages on a domain that is you cannot make request to a page on another domain another protocol or another port number from your web page but server to server communication does not have this rule which means if you have a php file on abc.com it can make request to a php page on xyz.com or httpsabc.com or www.abc.com or even to a different port so this rule is applicable to html pages which contains javascript code so while developing real world ajax applications there might be cases where you need to communicate with a page on a different domain or any of these cases so if you are not allowed to do such request you might not be able to develop an application for example you want to develop a currency converter 
you will have to use an API which is on a different domain of course. So in that case if you cannot make a request then you cannot develop your application. So in the following lectures we are going to see some workarounds that you can use to communicate with a page on a different domain. So in the following lectures we are going to see how to bypass the same origin policy using some techniques. We will see it in the coming lectures.